and welcome to the show. Put your hands together and join me in welcoming Buzz. That's right. I'm Buzz. Are you ready to get quizzical? I certainly hope so. But who am I going to be getting quizzy with? Some quiz testants, please. Hit your buzzer if you want to fight then. Choose yourself a character. Now, choose your favorite outfit. Uh-oh, this bit's always a little messy. Choose your buzzer sound. <laughs> now, tell us your name. As always, scroll the letters with your buttons and select them with your buzzer. Yeah, baby. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, who wants to choose the first subject? How about you? Uh... 80s music? Okay. Questions ready? Trivia glands ready? Just press the colored buttons to answer as we play Point Builder! Just answer in your own time with the colored buttons. Which music legend joined Mick Jagger to make this cover a hit? For dancing in the street, dancing in Chicago, in the street, and down in New Orleans, in the street, New York City. One thing I know for sure, someone is definitely wrong. Some share the shame, some share the points, as it should be. Which New Wave boys made this a top five smash? Less haste, more getting the answers right. Hell's bells! Who asked? Gimme All Your Lovin' in 1983. Mm. All on the same wavelength, I see. <laughs> Way to go! Which Godfather of Soul made screen appearances in both Rocky IV and the Blues Brothers? <laughs> Which brothers in arms did Mark Knopfler provide with his distinctive sound? You really do. I heard a rumor, a part of this tasty trio. <sighs> There's something very attractive about making others look foolish. Ooh. Could be anyone's this game. No clear leader at this stage. Yeah, baby. <laughs> In this game, the loser chooses the category for the next round. But there's two of you on the same terrible score. So I'm going to get recent music. My favorite. It's that time again when I test your knowledge with the aid of unstable explosives. Let's play Short Fuse. Get rid of the bomb by answering correctly. Here it comes. What is Nelly Furtado's 2006 hit album called? Woo! 
With which boy band did Justin Timberlake first... Mm. Oh, 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 get rid of it! Which rock band is fronted by Julian Casablancas? Get rid of it quick! No. Trent Reznor packs a punch with which heart... Nice! Which singer walked a thousand miles in 2002? Negative. In 2005, which... No! Who was acting promiscuous in Nelly... The fuse is lit! Let's hit it! In 2007, Shakira was a beautiful... No! In 2001, which multi-talent... No, no, no! Which type of man was Christina Aguilera singing about... Bang! It's funny how comic explosives always seem to grease people's grip on their points. Carnage cometh. How is techno artist Richard Melville Hall better known? Oh, yes! In 2006, what was Gnarls Barkley? Never! With her 2006 hit album, which pop diva... What did Mims explain? Exactly what day? In 2004, Tori Amos released the album Welcome to... Lose That Bomb! Which movie soundtrack featured the hit... Never underestimate the power of the cartoon bomb. Still difficult to say who's going to take home the loot. Interesting. <laughs> Before you get some medical attention, I have one more task for you. Losers are choosers. That's you. Pick a category for the next round, if you please. Okay. Music from the here and now. My favorite. Fastest finger! Self-explanatory, really. Answer fastest, score largest. Simplicity itself. Remember, fast answers means more points. In 2000, Madonna wrapped her mouth around which pastry dish? You're right, they're not. Gloat all you like. Who is the lead singer of the Foo Fighters? <laughs> A quick scan of the rules reveals, yes, in fastest finger, it only counts if the answers are right. Which rockers took this into the top five? Tricky one for fast fingers, apparently. In 2005, the White Stripes had a hit with which type of flower? Guys, <laughs> I said to myself, that one's going to get cocky. Wrong answer. Which lady appears on this funky 2001 hit? Hey, sister, go, sister, so, sister, go, sister, hey, sister, go, sister, so. <laughs> and here was me thinking you'd given up this round. Gwen Stefani's husband, Gavin Rosdale, was the lead singer of which rock group?
Who wants the lead? How about you? He may be extraordinarily ugly and dull, but at the end of Fastest Finger, he's got more points than you! <laughs> As our last place, Larry, you get to choose the topic of the next round. Okay, 90s music, get ready! It's time to get messy, answer fast and get the chance to throw dessert at your opponents. Let's play Pie Five. Remember people, only the fastest of answer gain control of the pie. Prepare yourselves. Which American rocker fronted the Heartbreakers? <laughs> when you see your victim in your sights, eat pie! Tasty? Well, that pie removed a life and you only have two each, so you best look sharp or you'll be saying goodbye to this round. In 1999, Genuine was feeling so what? Righty, who's gonna get, take that. It's like the Lord of the Flies. Throw that conch away and pie like crazy people. Which of his many pseudonyms did Eminem use for the title of his debut album? Let me at him, who oh my pied. Last life. Ugly thought, but then I guess you're used to those. Lady and Crooner claims everything I do, I do it for you. <laughs> Who's for the pie? I don't take it. The bigger they are, the harder they're pied. Adios. In 1998, Ace of Base was having a cool what? Behold the answer. In the 90s, who smelled like teen spirit? This pie's got someone's name on it. Look out. You may be deadly cute, but that doesn't mean you can handle any more pie abuse. Who spent one sweet day with Mariah Carey in 1995? If I don't give you the right answer, you'll be wondering for the rest of your lives. According to the Backstreet Boys, they didn't care as long as what? Okay, who's gonna get it? I'm a crook. Hungry? I hate to alarm you, but you have only one life left, my pop princess. Which female singer flew into the charts with If It Makes You Happy? Okay, choose who to pie. Squash! Revenge, it turns out, is a dish best served with cream. Champ! Pocket a thousand points! 500 for second, 250 for third, and nothing for you who went out first. Top of the charts after the pie fight, babe. Top of the charts. <laughs> okay, loser, choose a category. <laughs> Music from this decade. Great! It's time for you thieves to shine. Buzz in fastest on the right answer and you get to pilfer someone else's points. It's Point Stealer. Oh. When you see the picture that answers the question, hit your buzzer. Which saintly singer is no angel? Well-weighted, that player. 
choose your victim with the coloured buttons. Well, their need is greater than yours, I guess. In 2005, which duo knew the importance of being idle? Stealing time. Fill your... Stop whining. You've got plenty to share, OK? Which of these bands formed in California? I know you're a good girl. Ambition! Last place, robbing first. Keep it up. If You Had My Love was the first single from whose debut album? Get stealing redistribution of wealth. Very public spirited. <laughs> Who'd have thought that under that nerdy exterior beats the cold heart of the season of <laughs> Losers are choosers. Make your choice. <laughs> Recent music, my favorite. <laughs> Everyone, this is high stakes. Bet high if you know your onions, low if you don't. Or maybe take a risk. Let's play. First in of the round. What is it about? Place your bets, people. Coloured buttons, coloured buttons. OK, all bets in. Question, please. In which 2006 movie did these Brits find fame courtesy of Lindsay Lohan? Should have bet more points. High rollers, your next question. Stakes is high. Place your bets. Bets are in and go. Which Christian high school did the Jonas Brothers attend? At least you didn't lose much. Our next question will be on. Time to place your bets. OK, no more bets. Question, please. In 2004, which Shantus found herself left outside alone? Maximum stake, right answer, massive win. High rollers, the last topic is... Mm. It's only points, place your bets. Okay, all bets in, question please. Which lively pop ensemble includes the wonderfully named Anna Matronic? <laughs> well done, but you should have bet more points. No more bets, and bow down to the grinning pop princess, buzzing hardest at the end of high stakes. Winner. <laughs>
The time has come to fasten your seatbelts. Who will be the last one to remain at the end of the final countdown? Time to convert those hard-earned points into time. The more points you've scored, the more time you get. But you have to answer fast here to avoid elimination. Who got all dirty with Christina Aguilera in 2002? Ooh, last place for the muscly guy. Which movie had Madonna getting into the groove? <laughs> Yo, Doc! First place! Well done! Which 1970s classic is about the day Buddy Holly died? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. right! I'm slashing the answer time. Step it up! Whose hits caused virtual insanity with many a cosmic girl? You're in first place because you're significantly better than everyone else. I see that now. In 1988, Jolly Acapella singer Bobby McFerrin sang Don't Worry, Be What? <laughs> two wrongs means two lots of bars down the drain. Which Simon and Garfunkel classic gave the Lemonheads a successful single? <laughs> Eliminated! Get that leotard out of the ring! In which park did the Red Hot Chili Peppers record their first live album? <laughs> okay, people, pace is picking up. Who was wiping dirt off your shoulder in 2003? Hold the phone! You were in first place just now, right? Ouch! A Star is Born with Barbara Streisand's rendition of which love song? <laughs> Watch your head on the... Oh! That looked like it hurt! Eliminated! Which legendary guitarist lent Shakira a hand on Illegal? Ta-ta! <laughs> and forgive me, for I cannot resist, Sayonara. Audience, we have ourselves a champion! <laughs> what a game! And what a winner! I'll be honest. I didn't think you could do it, but you proved me wrong. Normally, I'd get violent when that happens, but your relentless good cheer and high spirits have melted something in me, and all I have to say is this. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Love you. Love each other.